Okay, so today we're going to look at proving identities. It's continuation of chapter six, uh, which is T2. The first example that we're going to look at is uh, proving the identities for all permissible values of the variable. So we've got cotangent theta minus cosecant theta, and that's equal to uh, cos two theta minus cos theta over sine two theta plus sine theta. All right, so our left-hand side is cotangent theta minus cosecant theta, and our right-hand side is cos two theta minus cos theta over sine two theta plus sine theta. Okay, so let's try to simplify the left-hand side. Now, cotangent we can recognize as one over 10, right? Um, so why don't we just go straight to the sine cosine version of it, which is cos theta over sine theta, and then cosecant is one over sine theta. All right, what do you notice about the denominators here? They're the same, so in the numerator, I can write it as cos minus one over sine theta. Okay, so that's fairly simple, right? So now let's pause there and let's go to the right-hand side and see if there's something that we can do with this. Uh, okay, so we notice a couple of double angle trigs here, right? So let's see if we can work with them. What's, what can I change this cos two theta as? And at the same time, I wanna think, what can I change the sine two theta as? And my goal here is to see if I can end up with a sine theta. That's what I finally want to end up with. So let's go back to our sheet where we had all of those listed and look for what sine two theta is. So sine two theta is right here. It's two theta cos theta. So this is just the denominator right here. Two sine theta, cos theta, and then plus sine theta. Now what do you notice about this denominator here? You've got a sine in this term and a sine in that term. So what could we do in our next step? You could factor out the sine theta so that you'd have sine theta bracket two cos theta plus one, okay? So is it okay if I just do that step right now? So I, if I factor out the sine theta, I'm left with this two, this cos here, and then plus, and I'm factoring out this sine, so I'm left with a plus one there, okay? So do you predict something happening for the numerator there? Yeah, we're probably gonna uh, cancel out the two cos plus one, right? So let's see what identity we can use. That's gonna kind of give us a hint of what identity we should use for two cos, uh, sorry, for cos two theta. And I've got three different options for that one, right? So uh, let's see, do, 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 do. which one do we wanna pick? I have to find that page, lost that page. You wanna use the third one? Okay, so we're gonna use this third one right here. All right. So here for this, let's pick two cos squared theta minus one. That's for this part here. And then we're subtracting this cos theta that's right here. Okay. So what do you figure we're gonna do in our next step? Okay, let's clean it up right a little nicer. Two cos theta cos squared theta minus, and I'm gonna write the cos next to it because I want to, what do you think I'm wanna, gonna wanna do here? 
I want to, I've got a cos squared and a cos. I'm, let's look at here, and I've got a minus one. So if you were to, let's see, I can write note um, 2x squared minus x minus 1. How would you deal with this? You would factor it. So how would you factor this? It would be 2x and then x. And then maybe let's try plus 1 and minus 1. Does that work? So that's 2x squared. That's minus 2. That's plus 1x. So that gives me the minus x, and that's minus 1. OK, so how could I use this to help me factor this? It's the same except for? Cos. Yeah, I have coses instead of the x's. Yeah. So 2 cos, uh, whoops, theta. Make sure you stay in the same variable. And then cos theta minus 1. All right. Can you guys see it yet? So what happens? This factor cancels with that factor, reduces out to 1. And then, I feel like my camera's crooked. OK, there, that's better. And what are we left with? Cos theta, Cos theta minus 1 over Ooh, sine, theta. sine theta. Sweet, excellent. So what's our final statement that we need to say? Left-hand side equals right-hand side. Left -hand side, equals right -hand side. All right, perfect, beauty, nice, next one. Okay. All right, so now let's go to the next one. This one says 1 minus tan squared theta over 1 plus tan squared theta. all over 1 plus tan squared theta. That's the right hand, uh, sorry, the left hand side. And then the right hand side is <coughs> cos 2 theta. So write that out. Here's your right hand side. Okay. What's the plan? What's the plan? Write the tans in terms of sine and cos. This is in terms of cos. Uh, so let's see what we can do. 1 minus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. That's this tan squared theta right here. Okay. So that's all over 1 plus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Okay, I'm just going to put like a, so we can kind of keep each of those thought processes, each of those lines separate. All right, now what I would like is a common denominator for this top numerator here. So what I need to do is I need to change this 1. How am I going to change that 1? Cos squared over cos squared. Yeah. And then that's minus sine squared theta. I'm just going to write cos squared theta. I'm just going to write it over once. And then here's my denominator. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing to that 1. And so I shouldn't have wrote that one. Let me get my cat eraser to erase that. And so this is the same thing. So cos squared theta plus sine squared theta all over cos squared theta. OK. So what happens here now? 
So notice how I've got this fraction, I've got that fraction, there's a divide in the middle, so I can multiply by the reciprocal. And what happens to the cos squared thetas? Okay, so these reduce out, and then what are we left with? We are left with cos squared theta minus sine squared theta over cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. What's an identity that you're seeing? So this denominator is equal to one, and then I'm left with cos squared theta minus sine squared theta over one, right? Is there an identity that we can use? Is there something that says uh, cos squared theta minus sine squared theta on my sheet? How can I change that? Hmm, I need to keep that page open all the time and in front of me. Yeah, it would be on your formula sheet. Uh, so it is, what am I looking for? Right here. So how can I rewrite what I have on the page? I can say that this is cos 2 theta, all right? And now left-hand side equals 2, right-hand side. So that's one way of doing that. Everyone's going to see a slightly different thing uh, or, or run it a slightly different process. That's okay. As long as you legitimately show your work, get to the final result, and make your proof statement, okay? All right, so the homework's at the bottom of the page there.